Hi and welcome to my 15th video tutorial on HTML. I haven't uploaded any videos since November 2011 so it's about time to get started again. In tutorial 9 we learned how to create an external link and in tutorial 13 we learned how to add pictures to your website. Today we will work on making the picture itself an external link, hyperlinking your image as a lot of people call it and everything we need to know we have already covered so this is going to be easy. Let's start by just copying in an external link and since we already covered this I'm going to leave out the details. Call it repetition. Okay let's uh, paste in our external link. Save it and let's update here. And here you see it says James Joyce. And that's exactly what we have written here, James Joyce. This is what we want our audience to click on. And when we click on that, we are moved to this web page right here. And let's try that. And this gives us uh, information about James Joyce and it's a Norwegian version of Wikipedia. Alright, let's uh, move back again. The only difference is that we are going to substitute our words James Joyce with uh, an image. So we're going to delete James Joyce and as you can see here there is no uh, beginning bracket here but we need a beginning bracket on uh, the image and just for clarification we're going to move this to the next line image source equals and uh, I've called it uh, James and that's a JPG file and let's see if that works and this is going to come out big because we haven't put in any height or width yet but it's here okay it works back to notepad and uh, we need a uh, end bracket here now let's put in um, height equals 150 and uh, width equals 100 and let's try that file save okay it's the size we want it to be as you can see we have no um, alternative text we want that and I'm gonna make this on a new line alt equals James Joyce file save and we have alternative text now when you make an image into a hyperlink you automatically get these borders if you don't want them you have to go in here and uh, write border equals zero and that should take away the border like that alright let's uh, click on the image just to see that it actually works and it does. So we have made a um, hyperlink out of an image. Let's go back. So all we actually did here was substituted the text James Joyce with an image file. Before we finish up there are two things I want to mention. Now we started a beginning bracket here by image right next to the end bracket put a backslash you don't need it but do it and the second thing is this we copied a URL right from the internet which is simple to do but let's say you're gonna make your own URL then you might have to do it a little bit differently now let's um, put in a different web page www 
give to firstdad.com. That's my page and uh, a picture, alternative text, and let's see, height zero. Now we have changed the URL here now to my own home page and let's uh, save and see what happens. All right. I'm about to format my computer. These are the only two pictures I have. Now when we click the picture, nothing is going to happen. We're going to get an error. Now the reason is this, and this is a very common mistake. We need to put HTTP colon slash slash, which we don't use when we just Google or surf the internet. File save. We click it and we get to my home page with uh, all my videos. Okay, that's it for this time. Next time we are um, going to put images on the right side and left side of uh, our web page and wrap text around it. Until next time.